former First Lady of Lagos State and the Chairman of the Leadership Empowerment and Resource Network, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola, has advised children to strike a balance between entertainment and education. She said these are the Learning is Fun competition held at National Theatre, Igomu, to mark Children's Day in Lagos. She also advised parents to help their children to be better persons and encourage them to participate in programs that are educational. Our children love entertainment too much. I'm not saying that entertainment is not good, but we must balance it. We all cannot be musicians. We all cannot be in the art world. We all cannot be in the creative world. There will, there will be some people who will be working behind the doors for us. We will have bankers, we will have nurses, we will have doctors, we will have vulcanizers and all. So whatever we find doing, whatever is our passion, whatever we know that we can do without really earning any living, which can later on be financial good for us, Let's encourage ourselves and let's do our best and get the proper skill to do it. Which is not a famous rice producing state in Nigeria? A. Ogo. B. Bauchi. C. Lagos. D. Kemi. Bauchi. Bauchi final answer. Bauchi is actually wrong. Thank you very much. Thanks. We don't do so many programs and learn, but any program we do is always very effective. Because one, I like to be in the midst of the children, I want to know what is happening in their world. So by talking to them and engaging them, I'm able to know where their uh, mind is, what they are thinking about, and how they, what's going on in their group, you know, their generation. It gives me that way to be able to help them to be a better human being. Today has been a great day for me, for the first time I've been here. I've learned so much, we should be um, outspoken in front of everybody. We should not be scared and I think Len is a great place. Kenny Blind, the speech he gave, has inspired me to accept others for who they are. It might not necessarily be their fault for who they are, but just accept them. No discrimination, accept anybody for who they are, if they are blind, they are deaf, they are dumb, just accept them. And coming here to come and do have a competition like this, it makes them come out freely and they actually see people they've not, they've not met before. And at the same time, there are some challenging questions that they should be able to tackle at a, well, at a short time. And it makes them prepare for such a question. It will make them know that they have challenges in terms of being there at the top. It will encourage the student to be more serious and be more focused in their studies. Please let me celebrate all these people, don't you? I think it's easy. This is a wild.